I was tooling along the other day and the old Buick wouldn't shift out of second gear. RPMs just kept climbing higher and higher. I pulled over, shut her off, cranked it back up, and she got back right. So I checked it out and seems like I need to change out the transmission fluid. So we're going to get to that today. First thing you're going to notice about the Buick, the hydraulic doesn't work on this thing. So we got a special little tool here that helps us keep this thing open. Alright, got everything we need right here. Extra long funnel, transmission fluid, Dexron VI, or for you Romans, that would be six. Alright, first thing we're going to do is drain it out. So you can see right there, we got our drain plug. Let's get this set up right here. Might, might be a little hot. <laughs> All right. You can see that transmission fluid's pretty black. That ain't how it's supposed to look. So we're gonna let this thing drain out here. And uh, you know when it's ready, when it looks like it's got a prostate issue. Just a little bit. A little bit tight under here if you're ever wondering when a good time to have a squatted vehicle is it's probably about the only one uh, if you look right here you can see right there that's the new transmission fluid that's pink that's the old transmission fluid that's like muddy brown 170,000 miles probably a little too late to be changing this but uh Better late than never, I reckon. All right, we're all drained out here. We're gonna get the plug back in, fill her back up. We'll take a peek down inside here. You can see right there, there's our cap where we're gonna add the transmission fluid. This cap does provide also, when it's new, the information on which transmission fluid to lose. Lose or use, I should say. But it's kind of rubbed off now. So we looked in the book. All right, now the guidelines here are kind of iffy. It says you can add five and a half to six and a half quarts. So we're gonna start out with about five and see where we're at on that. Now, some people might be precision pourers. You can just pour it straight in there, but I gotta use the extra long funnel or I'm gonna have 
transmission fluid everywhere. Go ahead and start this bad boy up. They say you want to crank this bad boy up, warm up the transmission while you're doing this. I just got done driving it, so it should be all right, but we're going to crank her up anyways. That's five quarts in. Let's see where we're at on the dipstick. says we're good to go five quarts it says it's maxed out uh, i reckon we'll let it sit for a little while and then we'll come back and check it make sure but uh that's it quick uh transmission flush no excuse me dump and refill i should say we didn't flush nothing Anybody else realize that there's only four quarts in a gallon, not five, so I only put four quarts in. But uh, anyways, after a few minutes, the dipstick uh, went back down, so we're going to add some more. Let's do a little wait and see again. All right, we're back from that test run. So uh, everything worked out good. Shifted real smooth, a lot smoother than it was shifting before. Uh, can't say for sure the problem's fixed because it was kind of intermittent. Only happened to me twice in a week period. Uh, looks like our fluid level is good good and hot too so uh looks like we're wrapped up with this project